Today we're going to be looking at the ways in which kidney beans may be able to prevent cancer. Kidney beans originated in South America and was named for their shape and color. They're an excellent source of potassium. They also contain protein, fiber, iron, and calcium. Cancer is a disease in which some of the body cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. It's a complex process and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. In terms of anti-cancer potential, kidney beans are full of antioxidants and phytochemicals. In a 2018 review article, researchers found that there are bioactive compounds in beans that can protect against cancer development by inhibiting the cancer cell pathways. These pathways include those that result in inflammation, DNA damage, cell proliferation, and metastasis. Most of the studies have been in vitro, but the small number of in vivo studies also show that eating beans could inhibit cancer development. The bioactive compounds explored include polyphenols, proteins, and short-chain fatty acids. In a 2016 review article, scientists reported that phenolic acids found in red kidney beans have anti-cancer characteristics by protecting against the damage caused by free radicals. They also indicate that beans have cancer-inhibiting compounds such as phytic acid, phenolics, and saponins. These compounds can inhibit the formation of carcinogens by blocking the interaction of the carcinogens with cells. Kidney beans are a rich source of non-digested compounds like fiber, phenolics, peptides, and phytochemicals that are associated with a whole host of health benefits. In a 2013 article published in the journal Foods, researchers indicated that beans exhibit anti-proliferative activity and induces programmed cell death of colon cancer cells. The mechanisms responsible for this protective role may induce gene-nutrient interactions and the regulation of cell growth. Colorectal cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in the United States. While there is a hereditary component to this cancer, it is known to be associated with inflammatory processes, epigenetic alterations, and changes in the intestinal microbiota. In a 2020 review article published in the Journal of Functional Foods, researchers reported that eating beans has been associated with a lower risk of colorectal cancer. They note that the relationship between bean consumption, microbiota modulation, and lower inflammatory markers is becoming increasingly evident. People who eat more beans have a lower risk for cancers of the stomach, colon, rectum, kidneys, and throat. Large studies mapping food intake in those living with cancerous polyps in the colon have found that those eating more beans had 65% lower odds of their cancer returning. A 2018 review article shows that the lectins found in kidney beans have potential anti-cancer effects. 
There are some concerns in the popular literature about the digestive issues that lectins may cause, and it has been touted by fad science as an anti-nutrient that causes everything from obesity to inflammation. These claims are not substantiated and are not supported by the major health organizations. Also, it is important to remember that eating foods with a high amount of active lectins is rare because we soak and cook beans and that process makes them perfectly safe to eat. For more information on the science behind the question on the safety of lectins, check out our video on this topic. The research on the ability of kidney beans to fight cancer is really quite promising, especially in relation to colon cancer. Researchers indicate that the next step should be to conduct more studies about the specific mechanisms of the compounds found in beans. Of course, we don't need to wait to incorporate healthy and nutritious beans into our diet. Some people who are not used to eating beans are concerned about the digestive discomfort and gas. But this goes away once our guts develop the microbiota to digest the beans. The recommendation is to start with small portions to begin with so that your digestive system becomes used to the beans. Once that is established, you can eat more of them and there will be no issues. The USDA MyPlate recommends consuming half cup of beans per day for optimum health. I hope you found the information in this video to be useful. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.